Thanks for joining us. A vigil for 31 year old Thurman Blevins bringing together hundreds of people tonight in Minneapolis. They're pushing for respect and answers from police. Blevins was shot and killed by Minneapolis police Saturday night when officers were responding to at least one 911 call. The police say those emergency calls reported a man shooting a handgun into the air and at the ground. The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension is investigating and reports officers were called to an area near 46th and Lindale Avenue just before 530 yesterday evening. And when they pulled up and exited their squad cars, Blevins took off running. Blevins was shot in an alley, sparking anger from the community that something like this happened again. The police chief and Mayor Jacob Fry have been out in the neighborhood offering sympathy and concern over what happened and the response from the community has been mixed. I need to be here. I need to be here to listen to them and uh, to hear their concerns and also look for pathways in which we can move forward. But right now for today, there's, there's family members that are grieving, there's communities that are grieving, and so I want to be very respectful and sensitive. He can hear there the community uh, booing Mayor Fry at the vigil as he was seen walking away. Well, this is all very fluid and we keep learning new information. That's right. And Lou Ragu from where the vigil took place tonight with the very latest Lou. And guys, that vigil is actually still taking place as we speak. And I have new information tonight. I've learned that two officers fired their guns, partners who responded to the 911 calls of a man firing a gun. Now, whether the man actually fired the gun and several other facts remain in dispute tonight between police and neighbors in this community. He just lost his sister. Now the police killed my uncle. At a vigil on the street where Thurman Blevins died are the usual emotions that follow a police shooting. Sadness, anger, and frustration. It's not good enough to show up the vigils. It's not good enough to show up at the scene. It's not good enough to do a press conference. We need them to be accountable. Those same emotions on display Sunday afternoon. No justice, no peace. Prosecute the police. At a rally in front of the Minneapolis Police 4th Precinct, where protesters questioned whether Blevins was really armed when shot by two police officers. So even if he did have a gun, why is this man dead? Why are there white people who get a chance to shoot up churches and terrorize mosques and call everybody but themselves terrorists while they walk in safe as hell to these precincts? When the evidence is in, it's going to show that these officers do just what they're hired to do. Police union head Bob Kroll says the two partners responded to 911 calls from frightened people who reported Blevins firing a gun into the air and the ground. And Kroll says the shooting was justified. It's our belief that body camera will reveal what happened, um, that the officers were subjected to a threat. There were numerous commands to drop the firearm. The suspect did not comply with these with these commands. Blevin's uncle and father thanking protesters, saying they want to see the body camera video and find out exactly what happened. Yeah. Well, we want him to get some type of justice, and we just want to know. We just want to know the truth. We just want to know the truth. No one should get shot down like a dog. And Bob Kroll says the two officers are cooperating in this investigation and will talk to the BCA either tomorrow or Tuesday. And they will be allowed to view their own body camera video before they give their statement, which is allowed in Minneapolis police uh, policy. Corey and Camille, back to you. Throughout all of this, Lou, of course, we want to remember that family is grieving tonight. And of course, our thoughts and prayers are with them, too. Thanks, Lou.